Hi third graders, we're going to check our work for DLA day one. Today is Monday, week 31. So number one says uh, divide each word into syllables. So for this one you can take your, or find the first vowel, which is O, the second vowel, which is e, A, and then in between that word, those, I mean those vowels, you have a consonant. So this is a VCV pattern. So if we separate it after the O, this word would be rotate. So we would write it like this, rotate, making the long O sound. If you got that right, give yourself a star. This one would be vowel for the U, and then the LE is one vowel sound, U. And then you have your two consonants, so this would be a VCCV pattern. So we're going to split between the two Ds, huddle. So if you got that right, give yourself a star. Okay, number three says correct these sentences. The falcon caught its prey while flying. It was a pigeon. So we're going to start with the capital the, because it's the beginning of the sentence. And then we're going to make this into uh, two separate sentences. So I'm going to put a period after we're flying. So we have the falcon caught its prey while flying. And then the prey was a pigeon. So we're going to capitalize it. We're going to put a period at the end and make two complete sentences. Now, you could put a comma if you wanted after flying and the word and and make it a co uh, compound sentence. The falcon caught its prey while flying, and it was a pigeon. So either way would work. So here's what I did. The falcon caught its prey while flying, period, it was a pigeon. Separate sentence. All right, if you got that right, give yourself a star. Number four, we have forgot to water the plants. I hope they aren't dead. So capital W for the beginning of the sentence. We're going to take out have because we just need we forgot to water the plants. And then we're going to add a comma and the word and and make this a compound sentence. And then the I, of course, needs to be capitalized. Aren't needs a um, apostrophe in between the N and the T because this is a contraction of are and not and it's joined together um, with the apostrophe. And then we're going to put a period at the end. You could put an exclamation. I hope they aren't dead. It's up to you. So your sentence looks like this. We forgot to water the plants, comma, and I hope they aren't dead, period. Got that right? Give yourself a star. Number five, underline the cause and circle the effect. So those are your directions. Remember the effect, I'm sorry, the cause has to happen first. And in order for, for the effect to happen, you have to have something cause it. So the effect happens second. So let's look at this sentence. The, and actually, let me go back to this. These are events. So the event that happened first is the cause making the effect. That doesn't always happen in the, the actual writing writing it in that order of the sentence. So you have to really think about what the sentence is saying. The fire was extinguished, that means put out. So the fire was extinguished because the firefighters sprayed it with water. So we need to think about what happened first. Did the fire go out or was extinguished? Or did the firefighters spray it with water first? So yes, the firefighters um, sprayed it with water. That happened first, so that's our cause. And we're going to circle the effect, which was the fire was extinguished. So if you got that right, go ahead and give yourself a star. All right, so um, since number four was talking about a plant, I want to see your pot of plants right here and what you would put in your flower pot. All right, good job checking your work, boys and girls. We'll see you next time.